What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to another one of our previews as this uh, preview here. It's the big one of the weekend. It is the Whitney Stakes up in Saratoga. Going to be a big Saturday at Saratoga, of course, highlighted by the Whitney Stakes. Going to be a lot of fun. This is always a big-time race, a race that can certainly go a long ways in determining uh, who's going to win the Breeders' Cup Classic. Of course, two years ago, Nick's Go came up here, won the Breeders' Cup Classic after winning the Whitney um, in stylish fashion. You think about last year, life was good. No, he did not win the Classic, but boy, he went out there and set the pace. You knew he was going to be a major factor in the race. All right, no more no more talk about the past. Let's talk about what's going to happen, hopefully, in the future. All right, field of six here. Look, we've had some short fields in these six races, obviously, at Saratoga. That is no, uh, you know, that's no secret. However, I will say, when you look at the Vanderbilt last week, you look at the Jim Dandy last week, I don't think they could have been any more exciting. So uh, for a fan standpoint, I, I still think there's something to be excited about. But from a betting standpoint, look, those two races made up the late pick five Saturday at Saratoga. The favorites won both of those races. I know, uh, you know, betters really are not happy when they're short fields because of that. But the pick five sequence that had those two uh, uh, races in it, Paid $1,600, so you can still get some decent payouts even with these short fields. Let's get to it now. Look, I don't think there's going to be any surprise. The horse on the outside, the number six, Cody's Wish, that's going to be my top choice in this race. Uh, look, he's never went to, or he's never, uh, you know, went a mile and an eighth before, but he has been super sharp at a mile. Uh, two very sharp victories this year. Last time out in the Met Mile, he absolutely crushed uh, that field again. You know, some of these horses were in that race and they were not competitive whatsoever. From a pedigree standpoint, a mile really doesn't make a ton of sense for the horse. Really a mile and an eighth is where he should run best. So from a pedigree standpoint, I think he's going to be awfully tough to beat uh, at this distance. He shouldn't have any trouble with it. We'll see what happens. You never know until they try it. I think he's gonna be awfully tough in this race. Also his competition, Look, it's not much. West Willpower got injured uh, earlier in the week, and so that dropped him out of the race. It's like I said, a short field of six. I think Cody's Wish, even if he doesn't fire his absolute A effort, still probably going to get the job done. So Cody's Wish in first. Other number one, Zandon in second. Uh, I think he's a pretty interesting horse here. Board, hit the board standard, try right? And then he'll drop back, kind of make one run, hit the board, try to you know get up second, third, something like that. I don't really think he's ever going to be a threat to win, but I will take Zandon in second. I think he's coming into the race, um, you know, like he always does. Kind of that, hey, he could hit the board type, of course. So I'll put him in second. Um, look, after that, I'm going to put number two, Charge It, in third. Uh, he ran a lot better last time out in the Suburban, although that was a much, much weaker field. I do think he can, and I think they kind of learned in that race, just kind of send him. Like, get him out in front. Maybe he can just hold on. So I'll put Charge It in third. Not a ton of confidence that he's going to win this race, but... Uh, I, I do think maybe just, hey, send him in the front, see what happens, see if he can hold on. So I'll put charge it in third. And then finally, fourth, I'll go number five, White Abario. Uh, for me, this horse is doing, uh, you know, just kind of never never shows up with that big effort outside of Florida uh, and, and in bigger races outside of Florida specifically. Uh, you know, second race with Dutro now. Does that make a bit of a difference? We'll have to wait and see. I, I've just never been that high on him, and I can't be that high on him here, but it's a six horse field. Somebody's got to finish fourth or at least somebody, I have to put somebody in fourth year. I'll put White Abario in that four spot. So I'm going to go number six, Cody's Wish on top here in this spot. Uh, should be a big, big um, proving ground for him. If he does happen to lose, wow, does the classic become crazy. And we don't even really know who the favorite would be at this point. Um, so well, that'll be interesting if he does lose. But I'll go six, Cody's Wish on top. Number one, Zandon. And second for me, hoping he can jump up, kind of get uh, get the pieces uh, that's left there. Number two, charge it in third. And the number five, White Abario in fourth. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching the video. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're playing Saratoga this weekend on Saturday. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here, our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.